I'm here with Allison Glass, and Allison, you really are multifaceted, truly, with what you do. How did you get into this whole thing of quilting, designing, fabric, and all that good stuff? Sure. Um, okay, so when my kids were little, three and five, my husband decided to go back to grad school. Ooh. Yeah, it was a long road, but we were really happy to do it and would make the same choice again. Um, so at that point, I started a business working with um, people in their homes doing some organization and some home deck type work. And pretty soon I dropped the organization part because I'm not as organized as I should be anyway. So it didn't make a lot of sense to help people with that. And uh, so I was doing a lot of space designs mm -hmm. for people. I started using a lot of fabric that was coming from the quilting industry. Some of the uh, manufacturers had started doing some home deck weight fabric, and uh, th those sorts of designs and fabrics were, the, were what I was really looking for for uh, client spaces. So kind of a less traditional, uh, what you think of as a home deck fabric, and a more you know bright, colorful, interesting okay. kind of a focus on Can the any, artwork. Can any, does anything come to mind that you could pull out a name or the style? Uh, Yes, so when Anna Maria Horner's fabric line drawing room came out, okay. um, that was a big uh, kind of light bulb for me awesome. as to understanding what was going on in the quilting industry. And um, there's a lot of people in the town I was living in in Michigan that have that fabric in their homes. Um, and it really opened me up to the idea that, oh, someone does this artwork that goes on this fabric and oh, how much I'd like to do that because I've always, I loved art growing up and I, you know, I wanted to go to art school and I, I didn't, but I wanted to. And um, it's been a great way to, to get to do what I'm really interested well, in. Well, I'm telling you, I know people are like gaga over your fabric. And um, is this a recent piece of yours? This is a piece from the fabric line Ex Libris. It's been out, I, I can never remember when they came yeah, out. It, but, that's but, fine. <laughs> but a, at least a year it's been out. And who are you working with? Andover Fabrics. Andover, okay. Mm -hmm. So then, now look at these, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Tell me about these. So this is one small section of a larger group of fabrics called the Sunprint fabrics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the idea of that came about from, um, well, in my first fabric line, there was a group of nine fabrics that were pretty simple. It was a color background with some wavy white dots on it. And um, people were drawn to that the most out of the line. And, and from there, I decided, well, then why don't I make some groups of, of nine fabrics that are mm -hmm. a range of colors so that people can use them, you know, almost as a near solid or a solid. Yeah, so, I mean, this is like a candy dish right here. Yeah, so um, in 2014, we released 54 fabrics, um, six designs, nine colors each. In 2015, in January, we followed it up with 29 more. Oh. And then in 2016, just last month, we released another 29. So the idea of it is, is that they'll kind of ebb and flow, but at any one point you can get Work them all together, yeah. yeah. So what about together. this then, okay? This is beautiful. What's this piece? Thank you. This is a, um, a raw edge applique piece. Mm -hmm. It is called Cathedral. Um, the, the print that you had shown before is in the middle, and then I wanted to create kind of a medallion look with it. A lot of the fabrics are from the Sunprint Collection 20. 15 and then a few other of the prints from Ex Libris. So it's a mix of the two. I like the sun, I like, I love having the sun print fabric so that people will have plenty of tonal and near solid fabrics to work in with the prints. Right. Because I think in quilting it's so necessary to have right. those options. Right. Okay, so then here's some black and whites. I'm mm -hmm. always seeking black and whites. Tell me about this. So this is a line called Abacus. It's been out for a few months now and this was sort of my response to, okay, we have all of this colorful fabric. Polka dots. Now, I wanted people to have an option that was more of a neutral, like a light background that they could use. I was loving what I was seeing um, where people will do patchwork with a, a lot of different prints, right. but they're all white. So then right. you, from afar, you get this nice light background. But when you look at it, it's still interesting fabric. So now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, this might be really fun to uh, color, mm -hmm. you know, with mm -hmm. crayons or permanent pens. Yeah, and stuff some like people that. have done a really fun job of doing that. Um, I also think it'd be great for embroidery, hand embroidery. Oh, yeah. And, um, and actually, um, we sent her back to the teacher's room <laughs> to get some of your hand embroidery mm -hmm. because it's absolutely beautiful. Let me grab it over here. Uh, I adore that people are getting back into by hand. Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. love it. So let's take a look at this one. Tell us about this. 
Um, this, it's been a number of years ago now, but the first um, three patterns I released, um, in this case with my co-author Nydia Kenley, were uh, hand embroidery patterns. Mm -hmm. um, one was called Animals, Crafts, and then that was a flower one. So What about this one here? Hand. Uh, this is a larger is embroidery. Is this right side up? Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. Um, this is called this was in relation to a fabric line I had called Field Day, so it's mm -hmm. an artwork modified from that. So where do I get this pattern? Um, it is carried in local shops if they so choose, that's one thing. Oh, it's one thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I gotta share this because okay. this is really smart. Uh -huh. So there's two pieces of fabric here, and so that way you can travel on the back side and you don't have to worry about your threads. Yeah, it, it, Sometimes I use an iron-on, but, but I like it to be more cloth-like. Okay, and then, okay. And then a lot of times I just take a second sheet of the, of the white fabric, because it's just as easy to me. And then, yeah, you don't see the stitches from behind as much. Right. Here, and it adds a nice structure. Right. Okay, now look at on this here. I keep looking. <laughs> You've got um, wool in here. Where's the mm -hmm. top? Here, that's like this? Top. Yep, that's the top. That's great. Yeah, so this is a little embroidery sampler. Um, it's I originally developed it to teach from. I have a number that I, I'll, I'll do it, I'll develop it to teach from, and then I release it as a pattern. Uh -huh. um, I uh, have, I like wool applique as well. So these two pieces allow me to, to show both wool applique and all the embroidery stitches in one piece. Okay, so then in this book of yours, which is absolutely beautiful, people, the photography in here is just ooh la la. Mm -hmm. What's in here? So this is a book about hand applique. Mm -hmm. um, well, I guess there's some machine applique also, but it's okay. And but you have a little also bit of embroidery. I say there's some stitching mm -hmm. in here too, right? Now, this, uh, the styling of the shots in here are just magnificent. Uh, did you do these? Um, Nydia Kenley, is, who I mentioned just a minute ago, as uh, she and I do a lot of work together, uh, I mean, co-author a lot of the patterns, and she was the photographer for the book. Nice. And then I love this that she brought a work in progress, so I want to get that here. You okay. hold that. Okay, sure. And um, it's really heavy. I first thought it was corduroy, and then I know better than that. It's a knit, right? Yes, the, this is, uh, this is a, another version of a uh, project in the book. This is my third go at it. They're all really different. Mm -hmm. um, the project in the book is called Fountain with the subtitle, This Could Take a While, because yeah. it does. <laughs> uh, but, it's, but it's a lot of fun to stitch. It's a really nice, cozy project. And what it is is um, two layers of jersey knit, mm -hmm. cotton, 100% cotton jersey knit with a um, with a, a woven cotton on the inside. It can be a whole cloth, or in this case, it's a strip quilt. Um, oh, right, these nice. are These are fabrics from a line that I have called Handcrafted, which is a batik process fabric, mm -hmm. um, but it's very modern and doesn't necessarily, it doesn't look like a traditional batik, um, but it's a hand stamp, hand dyed process fabric that is completely made by hand. That's the handcrafted name. This is just so um, much fun. Yeah, so this is a so this is reverse applique. Basically mm -hmm. you draw the shapes on, stitch around the shapes and then cut out the shapes. And it's always really kind of exciting when you cut it out, then you get to see what's underneath. Well and you know, this is this is raw edge too. You're not even mm -hmm. worrying about it because you don't have to. Right. It's jersey knit, so you don't have to worry about that. So nice. it's a really pretty low key, cozy sit on the couch in the evening and have fun stitching. Nice. In a simple way, but it's a great effect. And I love, I love the extra texture with the little threads hanging out there. Super fun. Yeah. So, if somebody were lucky enough to take your class, what would the offerings be? Um, well, let's see. This time around? Sure. Okay. Um, I'm teaching some embroidery mm -hmm. here, and I have a wool applique class and a jersey net applique nice. class this time. Nice. And I'll bet they're filled. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, I want you to have a really good time. Thank you Thank for you. taking time out of your schedule to come with us. Because you know what? These people at QuiltCon, these teachers, they are busy. It looks glamorous on the outside. It's a lot of fun, but they're busy. So thank you so much. Thank you. Wonderful talking to you.